ABC News exclusive, survivors speaking out about that deadly boat explosion in the Bahamas. A mother killed celebrating her anniversary, a young dancer losing her legs. Their day on the water turning into a scene of pure chaos. Here's ABC's Ariel Reshef. Tonight, harrowing first-hand accounts from that deadly tour boat explosion in the Bahamas. It sounded like uh, a loud, you know, like almost like a shotgun went off. John Inman, his wife Sheila, and their son Hayden out for a scenic adventure when the right side of the boat suddenly ignited. Probably three minutes into the ride uh, is when the right side of the boat exploded. <laughs> almost as if we were hit like with a torpedo. Hayden's girlfriend, Brooke, and her family also on board. I landed and I hit something. I rose to my feet and I saw Brooke in front of me. Brooke's sister, Stephanie, a 22-year-old lifelong dancer, losing both of her legs, now in a medically induced coma. Their mother, severely wounded. <laughs> the Inman staying by Stephanie's side as she was rushed to the hospital. I wouldn't leave Stephanie's side because all I could think about, if, if that was my child, I would want someone there. And tonight, the heartbroken family of Malika Jackson, the 39-year-old wife and mother who did not survive. Malika's first word would have been, take care of my son. And that's what we'll do as a village. Tom, Malika leaves behind a 12-year-old son. Her husband was also badly injured. Authorities still investigating what caused that fiery blast. Tom? Yeah, the cause still unknown. All right, Ariel, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.